Welcome back at 641 and the red carpet is rolled out and ready for this weekend's Grammy Awards. The 60th annual Grammy Awards are on Sunday and they'll be hosted by the Late Late Show's James Corden. Red carpet coverage starts Sunday at 3.30 and one of the hosts of this year's star-studded red carpet event is Nancy O'Dell. And this morning, the Entertainment Tonight co-host joins us live from New York with a preview. Good morning, Nancy. Good morning. Good morning. So, hey, uh, very excited. Ready for all the Grammy fun. Yeah, I know. I, I am very excited. <laughs> I too. love the red carpet. Yeah, so it's moved to New York City. We know that's new this year. What else is new and how do you think that move will impact anything if it will? Well, it's fun to be back, and they're doing that, you know, in honor of the anniversary. So it'll be fun. It's going to be a lot colder, that's for sure. So I guess everybody will have to bundle up, and they're going to be wearing um, white roses in honor of the uh, to recognize the Me Too movement. So we've seen that at other award shows where they've all taken a stance. For example, at the Golden Globes, they, the uh, everybody wore black, including the men wore black as well as the women wore black dresses. So here we may see it. So I guess I don't know. We'll have to see if they're going to wear it on the outside of their coat or if they're going to wear it on their dress. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I think the excitement is going to be bigger because it's in New York City, you know, with the Grammys and it being the big anniversary. And the performances are always amazing at the Grammys. I mean, they're known for the great collaborations, and there are going to be some interesting ones this year. One of my favorites is going to be the Elton John Miley Cyrus performance. I can't wait to see what they're going to do. It's supposedly one of his very famous songs they're going to do. Any other acts that you're looking forward to seeing at the Grammys? Well, I can't wait to see what Pink does because you never know if she's going to be scaling the side of a building or if she's going to be hanging from strings from the ceiling doing acrobats. You never know what she's going to do. I'm looking forward to seeing Kendrick Lamar. He always comes out with an amazing performance. I'm anxious to see if Jay Z is going to perform. It, it hasn't been announced yet of whether he's going to perform or not. We know he's sitting in the front row, of course, because he is the most nominated artist. Everybody is hoping that possibly he and Beyonce will do their Family Feud duet. So we'll just have to wait and see if that happens. And, you know, in true fashion, it's going to be to the last minute whether we'll know or not because they like to surprise everybody. Yeah, well, the Grammys are always fun. It's, I mean, they're, I'm not saying musicians are more fun than actors, but they seem like a, a more fun group anyway at <laughs> some of these award shows. So looking they're, forward they're, to watching. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. say they're very unpredictable. It's always yes. fun to watch the show because you never know what's going to happen. And, yeah. and like I said, CBS has done such a great job with the, you know, the, uh, the collaborations with, um, doing the Grammys. So the performances are just uh, amazing to watch every single year. Well, thank you very much, Nancy O'Dell. We are looking forward to the Grammys and the Red Carpet Show. Thanks for being with us this morning. Well, you can watch the 60th Annual Grammy Awards live from Madison Square Garden right here on Queen 6. The awards start at 430 on Sunday. Red carpet coverage begins at 330. Should be an exciting night. I, ha I have my afternoon cleared. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs>